So when you're working on these assessments, and you'll know it's an assessment because it'll say lesson three, challenge assessment, part two of four, part one of four. So let's say I just got here. I can tell I have not completed it because the glitter is yellow. I always reset the area to put my agent there. And then I go to reset, make code. And this time you're not on an activity, which means it's not a lesson. You have to create a new project and then call it what it is. So this one is lesson three and it's part one. Create. Now you've got access to all the uh, make code box. And I'm going to use the on chat command. We're not using the start one in this introductory lesson. And then you build your code. And what I like to do is every time I put the code in a little bit at a time, I push the T key to bring up the chat, type in run, and test it. And that way I can catch mistakes, like on this one. What did I do wrong? Let's uh, make sure I'm not clicking on the agent. Whenever you click on the agent, it brings up the agent's inventory. And I'm gonna, I can push the C key. And what I did wrong is I forgot to turn the place on move on. So let's try that again. Okay, so now my agent needs to turn right. That was what I wanted to find out. Was it left or right? Okay, and then I'm going to repeat that. So this is where you learned how to use the um, repeat block for looping. And your challenge is from now on, all the lesson three assessments, lesson four, lesson six, lesson seven, you have to repeat it. So let's see if the numbers are right on this one, um, because this is what you have to check. How many times you repeat it, how many times you move forward and place a block, those are the parameters you are testing. So let's test it again. And, uh, oops, I forgot to reset the area, but he only did three. Aha, uh -huh, let's see what happened. Oh man, I clicked on the agent again. There we go, reset area, T for chat, run to run the code. One, two, three, four. There we go. So my four by four square, which is what it says to build a four by four square, just one block, uh, is not complete. So I have to go back into my code and tell the agent to move up. Because if the agent moves up, and I have to put that outside of the loop because I don't want that to happen every time, then it's going to work correctly. So here I go. I'm going to click play. Reset my area, T run, haha. <laughs> and there we go. I can count and see that it did do one, two, three, four by four all the way around. So now what I do is I have to take a screenshot. So if I do Windows Shift S, it goes dark and it tells me to draw a rectangle around what I want to show and here it is boom now I've got a screenshot next thing I need to do which is equally as important is save my code you go to the gear icon click on save project and since I named my project correctly it's Minecraft lesson 3 part 1 that's gonna work it gets stuck all you have to do is click on your browser Bring up your browser. That's going to wake it up. And I'm going to put this into my documents folder. And I put it in my, let's see, I'm going to create a new folder called coding in Minecraft. So here's a new folder. I'm going to call it coding in Minecraft CIM. And I'm going to put all my codes in there. But here's what I wanted to change. I wanted to get rid of the Minecraft in front. That way it's just lesson three, part one. Save it, done. Now I can go back to the portal. Now, if you don't have the portal, uh, it doesn't remember. Like if you start typing portal and this doesn't come up, because for me it comes up, you can always find this by Googling coding in 
Minecraft. And then Coding in Minecraft brings you to Coding Credentials, the website for the company. And you go to Portal Login. And hopefully you had it remember your username and password, which will just log you right in. And then you go to the intro course, continue, continue again. And now I'm going to go to my lesson three uh, assessment challenge. The first one, and you're going to click on upload. And I got to remember, I put this under documents, CIM, lesson three, open. And then I have to find my, uh, the file that I took the screenshot. Let's see if that shows up here. Nope. Yeah, I forgot to mention how to save a screenshot. Let me take the screenshot again, because that did not happen as expected. So it's Windows key, Shift key, S. And when you see it pop up on the bottom right hand corner, you bring up the uh, snip and sketch. And this is really important. You're going to go to this little save as button click on it, and then save it as the exact same name as you did the other one. Lesson three, P1 for part one. And this usually goes into pictures, which I have a lot of picture files. You're gonna just save in there, close it. And now I can go back to my portal, click on upload, and under pictures, I should have Lesson three, boom. So this is what you need to send me for lesson three assessments one, two, three, four. Um, lesson four, it's all screenshots. And lesson six and seven, I need the make code file and a screenshot that goes with your make code. That way I can see your code and verify that you did it correctly. But what's the last thing you need to do? Very important, don't forget the send button. Boom, now it's done and it's ready for me to check. And that's it. That's how you turn in work on uh, the coding in Minecraft uh, portal assignments.